Hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, you know what we do over here. We go ahead and like the video in advance, right? If you are a part of this community, a part of my channel, you know, we go ahead and watch the ads. That is how you support the channel. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Okay. And hit the notification bell so that you can get future videos. Okay. When I upload. So, um, I've been off celebrity news for a few days, but I, <laughs> As I said in my previous video, I said, listen, even if I take a break from celebrity news, celebrities are always going to do something. So there's always something to talk about, even if I pivot for a minute, right? But I had to come back and talk about this because I just, I, I have to talk about it. So K. Michelle had a very embarrassing moment online and uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. So you know K. Michelle, K. Michelle... I was introduced to K. Michelle like maybe a few years before she got on Love and Hip Hop. I loved one of her songs, uh, Can't Do This. And that's how I knew her, right? Then she got on Love and Hip Hop and she kind of, it was kind of her breakout moment when she got on Love and Hip Hop. Now, K. Michelle has always told us that she was cornbread fed. That's how she got that ass, right? Then she started to reveal that she was having a lot of issues. At one point, she thought she had lupus. And then it was revealed that it was actually a lot of the, the health issues she was having was a result of of her um, injections. It was silicone. And she has had many, many surgeries to try to remove it. So yesterday, K. Michelle, I guess feeling good about, you know, because she had been through so many surgeries. She was on her live dancing when this happened. I'm going to go ahead and show you. There is no music attached to it because I had to kick, I had to kill the music. I didn't want to get any copyright issues. So she is dancing to Cardi B's Up. And if you notice, look what she just did with her. You just saw that. I'm going to play it two times so you can see. Watch this. Watch what happens to her butt. Go ahead and watch. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so you see that. So basically, her ass dropped. Okay? Her ass dropped. And it was embarrassing to say the least. It was embarrassing to say the least. And um, I don't know. I Listen, that's what I know is if that had happened to me, I would have killed the live. I wouldn't even, kill, I would just kill the live right there. And I would scrub out my socials. I would scrub every, I would scrub, scrub Facebook. I would scrub Twitter. I would scrub, I wouldn't want to see nothing because you know, once social media got a hold of, look at it. Can you see that? This is a steel shot. Look, look at the ass drop out. Now people were kind of going back and forth, whether or not it was a butt pad, whether it really was a butt. Remember, K. Michelle has gone through many, many surgeries. So she has a lot of loose skin and they have taken out a lot of that silicone. So they're trying to restructure and reshape her butt. Okay. So you, if you, if you, you just saw how it just literally just kind of drooped and fell down, it, 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 it was embarrassing. I, I gotta say, I would be very, very embarrassed. And so when this started making its rounds, people cops, you know, was, there were headlines like K. Michelle's, um, butt implant burst, you know, her butt uh, deflated. It, it was all kinds of headlines, right? And so I guess K. Michelle decided to go into the lion's den and stick it out. Because like I told you, I would have scrubbed my social media. You couldn't find me after my ass dropped on live. Okay. And, and, and ironically, she was uh, dancing to Cardi B's up. up, you know, but it wasn't up and it wasn't stuck. Um. Anyway, so when all of these, you know, it went, it, like I said, it went viral. It was everywhere. If, if you turned on the internet yesterday morning, you saw, you saw K. Michelle's ass drooping. Okay. It, it was, it had fell down to the flow. Okay. But drop. She got on, she decided to respond. She said, what you saw in the video was a happy woman with a faha and my extra fat. I've been very open so I can heal ladies. I don't have to tell anybody and I could have covered up until the process was done. But no, ladies need to see and hear the truth. I decided to use my platform to help. I haven't bothered anyone. I've been out of the way. So what I don't understand, what was the purpose or what was so entertaining about a woman finally being able to walk again with extra fat from the removal? I saw the comments and of course it was black women filled with so much hate. So she decided to, you know, come for black women. You know, I saw that I really, you know, I saw that I really just back to the rest of my night. What stood out was black women like you so excited to see someone else's pain. 
So the video of me dancing is sad that I even have to explain. I walk y'all through this, how difficult this process of removing silicone from my body for three years, 16 surgeries. Did we not forget I almost died due, due to this. Now I'm in the process of three reconstruction steps. Okay. And she wasn't done. She said, oh, fun fact in the video. And still right now I have stitches in me and an open wound that we have to care for every morning. I'm working every day with full on stitches down my back, but I don't complain. I fight through the pain and still work to provide for my whole family. All right. So she got the violins out. I got on live yesterday and I didn't care that I wasn't perfect. I knew I had excessive fat left over, but I said, F it. I'm not going to hide nothing in my house. I don't think people truly understand. I'm just happy to be alive. I've come so far with this and I'm proud of myself. As far as my surgeries, I have one more left. I hope, but the skin removal is next week. So I'm focused on that. The surgeries drain me. I'm gearing up to be in the right head space. So if you saw where I was and where I'm at now, you wouldn't hate so hard. So what do you think about what K. Michelle said there? It's interesting that she went directly for black women. Like, God damn, what we do, okay? Your butt dropped on there. Everybody was talking about it, not just black women, but everybody was saying some shit about it. I saw all kinds of comments from everybody. What about the black men? But I, she may have felt more hurt because she's a black woman seeing other black women make fun of her. Now, I am posting this because this is a faha. Because I was like, what is a faha? A faha is kind of a post-surgery, almost kind of like a, a, a girdle type of thing. You know, people that have tummy tucks and things like that. That is what she was wearing. So, because I had to look, I'm like, what's a faha? I don't know what that is. And it's basically a post-surgery garment, okay? To kind of keep everything in and to reduce the swelling. People use it when they have BBLs. And they have uh, tummy tucks and things like that. It just looked like, it just basically a uh, tummy control thing. That's, that's what it looked like. You can find them on Amazon and stuff like that. So maybe the way it was, or that, that particular cheek was nothing but skin, right? And the faha was kind of keeping it together. And when she started to shake her, what was left of her ass, right? It drooped because it was nothing but excess skin. So she kind of, I guess, debunked the whole idea that she was wearing a butt implant. She is not. That was just honestly loose skin because there really isn't an ass cheek there. Right. So that being said, um, I don't know about this whole, woe is me. I'm a victim type of thing from K. Michelle. And I like K. Michelle. I really do. But I also have kind of like a little issue with her. Now all of a sudden it's woe is me because while she's sitting here saying, oh, I'm being attacked by black women, K. Michelle, I do recall that you've had that same kind of energy and you can change, right? You've changed. You said you changed it up. You switched it up. You ain't coming for people like that. But I recall last summer you got upset because you thought that Tamar Braxton was shading you and you completely just went, you went full throttle on her. You guys might recall this, but T she was on T.S. Madison's show and T.S. Madison asked Tamar Braxton. She said, you know, they were talking about uh, a versus and T.S., you know, was like, oh, what about you and K. Michelle? And so a lot of people felt like Tamar was responding in a very like shady way. Tamar was like, she kind of paused. She kind of looked and she's like, I'm protecting my peace. And apparently K. Michelle took that as a dig in shade almost like she was just, she, it's almost like she was on go. She was ready to attack Tamar because the way she came for Tamar to me wasn't even warranted because I don't feel like Tamar said anything that warranted that kind of response. I mean, K. Michelle tore her down so bad. T Listen, K. Michelle good for a good dragon. K. Michelle is good for a good dragon, but the way she dragged that woman, it was so unnecessary. Remember, you might remember she told everybody how um, Tamar was messing with uh, Jermaine Dupree's daddy and Jermaine Dupree's, uh, I don't know if it was his mama or the, 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 the stepmother. Somebody beat the shit out of Tamar Braxton for, for sleeping with her man, sleeping with her husband. And it was a whole mess. I mean, I just remember K. Michelle just dragging Tamar. Okay. So, and, 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 and to be fair, Tamar, remember prior to that, Tamar and K. Michelle had been back and forth, back and forth for a minute because Tamar injected herself into something that had nothing to do with her. Remember when K. Michelle was on Love and Hip Hop 
and K. Michelle had alleged that Memphis Hitz had abused her, all of Toya's friends was sitting here just kind of, you know, like, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So, you know, you can't tell nobody how mad to get. No, you cannot. But K. Michelle can't sit here and say, never say that she didn't have that kind of energy for other people. So, you know, I'm glad that she is, you know, going through the surgeries. I'm glad how transparent she is. And she is pretty transparent for a lot, you know, for the most part. But the whole, it's black women, it's black women, it's black women. It's like, hey, Michelle, but you participated in that before. So you can't sit here now be the woe is me type of, situ- you know, stuff. But how embarrassing, y'all. Ooh, how embarrassing. I just, listen, if my ad, like I told you, if my ass just dropped out like that, it just, you know, my ass just dropped out like that. And I was the, should I do it? The butt of jokes. Dun, dun, dun. If I was the butt of jokes, I would just like completely erase my social medias and just go into hiding for a little bit and go heal myself and come back. Boom, bam, bam with the body and everything like that. But I do think that there is um, something to be learned in what K. Michelle is going through. And hopefully women just learn how to love themselves. And because the fact that this woman has the money and the resources to do this, a lot of women don't have the resources to go through all of this. Many women have died because they want to create this crazy shape that all these women are now getting right. But, um, yeah, this is, this was something else. Look at her, her ass. Look at, look at the drop y'all. That is embarrassing, embarrassing. Well, yeah, I just wanted to come back to you guys and share this with you if you hadn't seen it, because I just thought it was interesting with K. Michelle's as uh, going south. And um, yeah, uh, that's that's about it. That's about all. I don't have much more to say or much more to add. But what do you guys think about specifically what she said in her response to it? Because it does sound like very like all of a sudden her hands are you know clean and she has never ever, ever put that kind of energy out for other women. But that's just my take on it. Um, nonetheless, but anyway, uh, sound off comment. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation, like comment, share, and subscribe. And you know what to do. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care y'all. Bye.